Yo, what is going on, guys? So, here we are. The next project. I said in the other video, I said that we were going to start a new project. So, I just wanted to sh give you a little review of what we got. So, obviously, as you saw in the last video, if you watched it, I got a 7.3 IDI. It's a 93. It's turboed, which most of them weren't. It's a super rare option, I guess, for this year. They only made it for... I believe 93 and a half to 94 and a half so you can't really get it factory turbo idi for many years um so i guess i just wanted to show you a little overview about what we're working with first and i wanted to do a complete restoration on this truck so that we have something that's like gonna be great to tow uh, apparently these trucks are really great workhorses and i'm just like i took it across the country with my buddy and we had a bunch of issues with it and i'm just kind of like i want to get it all good to go so that when I want to start towing the other Mustangs, I don't have any issues and I just want a super clean truck and the trucks right now are just too expensive to buy a new diesel. So I'm like, why buy one when I could just fix mine? Um, so I guess let's go over what we got. So it's like I said, a 93 IDI. It's got 168,000 miles on it. I paid 5,500 for it. It's a manual with the overdrive got the red interior which honestly for the year i think is super clean like there's not too much that's wrong with the interior i'm still trying to decide if we're going to change the color though um i'm back and forth between this and the light blue i guess it really depends on what color i paint that exterior just to show a little bit more of the bad with it um so it's got a crack in here and a lot of these trucks are known for the fuel switch to stop working like both tanks won't work. Both tanks do actually work and they read the right level, which is kind of rare, but this whole bezel is cracked. You can see it here, here. Um, another thing, the temp gauge doesn't work. So I have one right here. Um, other than that, it's in pretty decent shape. There's a couple little holes. I guess he screwed into something. I don't know what he put there, not sure. The person that I bought this from said he owned it for like 20 years. So he had it for a really long time and kept up with the maintenance. Um, the only other thing too is if you see down here, these little pieces are cracked. So I'm going to have to fix those. So it kind of hangs. Definitely drives me like it, it's annoying. Um, these are a little weathered. I can't seem to find new ones anywhere. So I need to figure that out or if I'm just going to reuse it and just clean it up paint it make it look nice and call it good it's not terrible or maybe i can get an upholstery shop to fix it for me obviously some fading you're gonna get that which i plan on painting everything anyway um i need new weather stripping so we're gonna literally replace everything but i would like to keep what i can so that it's mostly original i mean even the steering wheel is in pretty decent shape i need to figure out how i'm gonna re repurpose this um i'm not really sure how to Cause this is like a, I guess like a rubbery type material. It's not like a leather and all the ones I keep seeing online are all leather. So I got to figure that out. Um, yeah, I mean, everything else is pretty bare base, but the red is really cool. I do, I do dig the red. It's very classic looking, um, AC and heat. They actually do work. They work well. It actually has a new AC unit in there. That's probably why. Um, some of these vents are broken, like this one, which I can get new ones. But a lot of it's just like cosmetic stuff, really, more than it's like there's anything wrong with it. Now I'll just show you guys the exterior, show you like what we're working with and some of like the good and bad with it. It's got some of the common rust areas, so I'll show you that and how it was kind of like repaired. Um, and I got all the sheet metal to fix it already. So I already have all of it. I just don't know how to weld. So I got to figure that out. Or if I'm going to just ask somebody to help me out. Because I know plenty of people that do know how to weld. So it's getting cold soon. And I'm just like wanting to tear this apart. And get the frame redone first. And I want to get that done like now. So I'm trying to get it all like tearing apart. Which I'm going to probably start doing that today. And then hopefully by the weekend. Maybe I can start getting at it with the frame. So let me show you the exterior. And then... We'll come back and I guess tell you what the, the next plans are with it. This is like the biggest issue with the truck. This is all Bondo. Completely rotted through. You can see the cab corner. But 
overall, like the whole rocker, I got all that to fix it. Um, these floor plants are known to rot. You can see the rot starting to come through. I don't know how bad it is. It's kind of looking decently bad from here. Just looking at it, just kick it. Yeah, it's all moving. But the frame really isn't too bad. Like everyone was telling me it's so bad before, but this is all like fixable. Like it's solid. You can see like the bed doesn't really look like it has too much rot. Like everything seems pretty decently clean. And there's a lot of new parts already on the truck, which makes me more want to save it. But everything is leaking, which these IDIs are known to leak. Like you can see everything leaking from the transfer case. Um, both diffs, they leak. It's, you can see a crack there. It leaks there, it leaks here. You can see everything leaking. It leaks from the rear pretty bad from everywhere. You can see the doors, they're not rotted, which I heard they do most of the time. So that's good. It's really just, you know, the cab corner, fixing the rocker, which I have, and then possibly the floor pans, which I probably will end up cutting them. And then I've seen a little bit of rust here in the inside, like all this. So I need might need to find that too. I guess once I tear it apart, we can see like what's underneath there. Here's a little better look. It's a single cab. Overall, like the body is really straight, like a couple little things here. I don't know if you could see it. Yep. Yeah. See that ding right there? That's like the only one that. And this little one right here. And then I see one right up there. Like right there. That's literally all the dings on the entire truck. So it's pretty straight like i feel like this body's in really good shape and even these always rot away you can see this one's in good shape right here i'm gonna take this off and see what's underneath but i mean just looking at it from here it looks pretty good see that front end This side is definitely a lot better. Ah, it's locked. But a little bit of Bondo, nothing crazy. Which, I mean, I have this side too. It sags. Not sure why. Um, this cab corner is at least there. But you can see it's bubbling. It's starting to rot. But this side's not as bad. And then... This side does have some rot. So I need to figure out how I'm gonna fix this. I guess I'm gonna just cut it out and probably weld in a new piece. But here's the engine bay. I decided I'm gonna, at first I wasn't gonna rebuild it because the motor runs fine, but I really want to just because everything leaks and I'd rather just have no issues. So taking it somewhere, gonna just get it rebuilt and then hopefully we won't have any issues for a while. It's got a brand new radiator, um, brand new water pump since that blew up on me when we were driving across the country. Um, oil looked pretty good every time we've checked it. It doesn't really burn oil, so that's really good. Um, only other issue I have right now, which I'll try to show you, which I was going to fix it, but just so that I can show you driving the truck, we're not going to be able to drive it until I start tearing it apart and getting it back together. But... If you could see that right there, it's the fuel lift pump. Um, it's pouring out everywhere from there, like a bunch of diesel. And there's the hose for it right there. It's like completely dry rotted. So diesel's pouring out of that too. But I just don't want to mess with it right now because I'm pulling the motor anyway. So it's like, what's the point? And I'm trying to get everything done now. 
So it just kind of makes no sense to try to like fix all that when I'm just going to take it apart anyway. Just to show one video of driving it. I have a couple clips. I'll just show you the clips and you know, you saw my whole trip of us driving it. So also he's got brand new tie rods and everything. You can see the bushings and everything look pretty, pretty new. So I don't know if I'm going to replace those. I would like to replace all the U-joints and stuff. Just clean everything up. Like, obviously, there's some decent rust on here. Some things are rotted more than others, but I think a lot of this is fixable. Um, I just wanted to say, too, with the truck, like, some of the good and the bad. So, like you saw, like, some of the body panels and stuff, like, need to be replaced, which isn't a big deal. Apparently, it's not that hard to weld them in. So, it's just a matter of cutting them out, which most of them are already falling apart anyway. And... So that's really the worst of the truck and i would say like a lot of the the goods about the truck is you saw the whole front end was basically redone like tie rods and stuff so that's basically taken care of it's got a brand new ac unit so all that's really good um blows nice cold air the heat works fine um the interior is in pretty decent shape i also got basically the whole cooling system redone it's got a new radiator it's got a brand new water pump it's got new coolant, so all that's taken care of. The only thing it doesn't have is a thermostat, which probably when I do a rebuild on the motor, that's probably when I'll take care of that. I just didn't feel like getting to it if it wasn't necessary. It also has a brand new clutch and flywheel, so that's brand new. Um, What else? I think that's pretty much it that I know of, which I feel like that's a majority of it, and it costed me a decent amount. So, so far, we're in it almost 8K and i'm guesstimating if i put another 10 to 15 into it i think we can have it like pretty clean so that's like where we're trying to get like try to put in about that much and, and see like where we're at obviously i'm just things pop up you know you have issues so i guess we're gonna see like what ends up really happening but i'm gonna try to save as much of the parts as that, that i do have and then um what's it called ah i'm blanking out yeah, save as much of the parts as we can, but a lot of the things that I do want to change, like, I'm going to just do it and try to put a lot of new things on it as well, just so that I know everything is new. But I just feel like sometimes you can't beat the OEM stuff. Like, sometimes these aftermarket things are just crap. So that's where we're heading. So hopefully you guys are excited for the project. I know I am. I think there's a lot of potential with this truck. And when it ran, it ran really great. And I think especially now that I drove it across the country and I kind of worked out a bunch of the kinks. Like, I think it's going to be a solid truck. So I'm very excited. I know a lot of people will run these for a lot of miles and it's only got 168,000, which is considered low for these years. So I think we will be pretty good and I'm very excited. So I hope you guys tune in, but hope you guys got a little glimpse about what we are dealing with right now. Um, like I said, I'm just trying to refresh everything as best as I can. I really just want the truck to be mechanically sound, but I want it to look really good. I'm probably going to change the color. Um, write down in the comments what color do you think I should do. But right now, I'm really leaning towards doing it all white with a like a metallic blue stripe. I just think that looks really good. But if I do that, I'm like, I don't know if I should keep the red interior or if I should try to get that like light blue interior. So that's why I'm trying to like toss around right now because I do like the red. I think it looks really classic, but the blue looks really good too. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But... I'm very excited to tear into this. I've been watching so many videos about it and I just really want to restore something. And I just think like this has so much potential and I just keep visualizing it and I'm like, I want to see it done. So I'm hoping by the springtime, we can have this back on the road and driving it at least. And hopefully a lot of the things will be done. I think I'm going to do the interior last. Um, even if I keep it red, I plan on refreshing the whole thing anyway. Like I want to get carpet instead of this, um, this rubber material. I do want to get the seat reupholstered. I think I'm going to do um, cloth instead just because I've been seeing a lot more kits for them and I think it looks a little bit nicer and it as might be a little bit better quality too. But I think I'm going to do that. There's a chance I might swap the seats because this is an XL trim. I might go to the XLT trim so that I can get the lumbar support ones with the armrest in the middle. Um, what else? So yeah, hopefully... Um, we can get this back on the road and we can start tearing it apart. I'm actually going to start doing that right now. So, um, 
I hope you guys enjoy the breakdown. I hope you guys enjoy the project. This is literally my first restoration. So there's going to be so much that I'm learning. Probably a lot of F-bombs are going to be thrown around. And yeah, let's just hope we can get it back together. Because I don't know anybody else that's a diesel mechanic that can help me out. So this is all going to be probably mostly solo. Besides the painting and like little bit of body work that I have. So yeah, we'll see. A lot of it's just rebuilding everything. So I guess let's get to it. Um, I'm going to start calling this project obs so project obs i call this truck betty that's her name uh she just seems like a betty i don't know why and yeah i'm super excited i hope you guys tune into this build i'm i think it's gonna be really cool i just hope it comes out the way that i want it to the way that i'm like picturing everything done so hopefully we can we can actually see this truck like in the springtime and we can start using it to tow the Mustang to track events and stuff and start really getting going on that project. So that's what I was saying before. I'm going to probably put that project on hold. Like winter's coming and I'm just like, I want to be more gun ho about getting this done so that this is mechanically sound. And then I have a good reliable truck to be able to pull that. And with the 67 Fastback that I got, there's a lot of things that I'm going to need to do with that, that I'm going to need to bring it places and stuff. And when I'm ready to go get the motor rebuilt and everything else like that, um, I just want to be able to have the truck to be able to throw everything in the back and just get going with that. It's just going to make things a lot easier. And I don't want to have to constantly keep renting something. And if you guys see the prices of these new trucks, they're just like ridiculously insane. And even like older ones, like they're ridiculous. And I'm just like, I don't want to pay all this money for something that I don't really want. So I'm just kind of like, this is super simple. And I like that. And I just want it to tow. That's, that's really what I want it to do. And I just want it to look clean. So that's what we're trying to get it to. Hopefully it's good. It's not going to be showroom quality, but you know, hopefully we can get it really clean. And I'm excited. So I hope you guys tune in. I appreciate it. Peace out.